Hey guys, it's Suresh. Thanks so much for dropping by my channel. Today's doll review is very exciting because I did not think that this doll was going to be as huge and popular as she has become. The Misty Copeland Barbie doll that um, released I think like two or three weeks ago and it's like sold out everywhere on Amazon, on Target, on Barbie Collector and I'm just kind of in shock about the whole thing. I do have the doll today, I'm very excited. I did purchase her off of Amazon. Um, I don't know if she's still there, but I will put the link down below. I have to also say a disclaimer, when I first saw the doll, I wasn't like super crazy about the doll, like it just didn't speak to me, and I was, but I was super excited that they had launched her because I'm an active member of the American Ballet uh, Theater here in New York, and I go to their huge, really awesome fundraiser every fall and I love it. The last time I went, Misty Copeland was there. I'm excited to see what the doll looks like. Without further ado, let's get her out of here. Um, she has been sitting here at my place for a little while. I did get her a little while ago and it's been killing me not to open her. So I'm very excited. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> so there she is in the box. So this is a pink label doll, which is the starter um, level of collecting. The back of the box has a beautiful picture of Misty and um, this is the outfit that she does all of her promo interviews in. So has a little story about her and um, super cute, beautiful, simple box, red, celebrating the Firebird outfit that she's wearing. So I just wanted to show you guys what she looks like out of the box, um, but still in her little display. And it's such a cute little display. I feel like this is a pretty accurate representation of what the play is all about. and. I can already tell that her costume has some beautiful little details to it, has little feathers, and I have to say the promo photos really don't do her justice in how vivid her colors are up close. There is a beautiful Misty Copeland Barbie doll um, it's a certificate of authenticity. So she does come with a standard base stand. And I am going to check out this stand. You guys probably know by now that I'm not a huge lover of the stands that Barbie Collector does, but I'm curious um, about this cradle um, holder, uh, stand holder, but the base is just a regular um, Barbie base. It's not weighted. This is quite the extreme pose they have her in. I think they're trying to like replicate the the back bend that she does in the Firebird promotional photos. She's out of the box, guys, and I have to say she is really adorable. So first observation, skin tone definitely much darker in person than um, the promo photos. I know a lot of people have made snarky comments all around the web about how she looks too white and this, that, and the other. Definitely much darker in person, almost my skin tone. But Misty's not super dark in person. She's pretty fair. I love, love, love the ballet shoes. So we'll get more into detail on that. Um, she does have a fully articulated body, it looks like. Like a modified model muse, I wanna say, because she has the little clavicle details right here. She is sewn into her outfit. So the outfit is shut. I think there are aspects of her that look like Misty, like from certain angles she looks like Misty, but I don't know that the face, like I would say is Misty Copeland if I was to just see her, you know, on a stand without knowing that it was her. She does have a Misty likeness. And I think that's what we have to keep in mind. It's a Misty likeness. It's not like meant to be like exact, I think. The outfit is adorable. It's really, really cute. Um, a red full body jumpsuit that has some tool netting detail in orange here at the calves um, and then a brighter orange here at her uh, from her elbow down to her wrist so there's some interesting padding here underneath the costume 
and I'm wondering if that is how they got her bust to be larger because I think that is how they got the bust to be larger. Okay, yes, she has the um, beautiful full athletic calves. So that's cool. There she is from the side. She does not have eyelashes, which you know is, I'm always sad about. 2015 Mattel, so that means it's definitely a new face mold for sure. One, two, three, four, five um, ruffled layers of tulle. It's a combination of red and a little bit of orange here as well. I think they did a nice doll scale version of the original costume. If you have seen the original costume, um, it's gorgeous and there are actually here uh, beautiful red little plumes of feathers. There's four of them coming out from the back. This is a slightly simplified version of it, but I think that's to be expected. The shoes are just beautiful. Like they are really, really pretty, you guys. I love the shoes. They're in like a skin tone color which is how it's generally supposed to be. And there's, they're tied by little bows. The ribbons are also the color of the shoes, which blend in beautifully with her skin. So you don't really notice the shoes right away. What you notice is the costume and how beautiful it is. I managed to very gently slip off her shoe because I was curious to see her foot. And it is the cutest little foot ever. She is definitely on point. On point meaning the actual point, not like on point. Check out the little foot on that, how adorable. All the little toes are there from the front and the back. I just love that, that is so, so cute. She does not have a, a manicure or pedicure which is fine. I don't think many ballet dancers as they perform do. One, two, three, four, five layers of tulle on her head. And it's a combination of red, orange, orange, red, and more orange. In case you're wondering why they put her in the Firebird costume, um, I learned that Misty performed Firebird for the first time with six stress fractures in her tibia. I think that's pretty darn remarkable that she was able to dance and do such a beautiful performance um, with that many injuries. Her makeup is also really pretty. It is a red and gold glittered wing of, of shadow and I believe it's meant to mimic fire. Um, her eyebrows are adorable. They're a beautiful full brow. And, um, you know, the more I look at her, the more I do see Misty in the doll. So that's cute. She has articulation here at the upper thigh area. So the leg moves in and out. And then also goes in and out this way. And then the leg kicks outward this way. And then also articulation at the knee, just like so elbow, wrist, um, and then at the shoulder as well. She is also articulated right underneath the bust, it looks like, because she can bend forward and backward. She does not turn side to side. Her legs will turn side to side, like so, but her torso will not really. She does not have any earrings. Her hair is up in a beautiful little high chignon bun. And there is a black elastic that is holding the little head decoration onto her hair. Her lips are beautiful, rich red, very neatly painted, at least on my doll. The one thing that I do think is bothering me is this weird padding across her bust. I think the attempt is to make the bust appear bigger, but it ends up looking almost, I don't know, like you see it and you're just kind of like, mm, what is that? Like, see if you can see that right there. You know what I'm saying? So that's a wee bit of a bummer, but outside of that, the stitching on the costume is quite lovely. 
um, for a pink label doll, I think this is what we get. I now see why she has been sold out like everywhere. Um, like I said, I will put the link down below of where you might be able to find her on Amazon. And if you are thinking of her and you're just, you know, like me, the doll wasn't really speaking to you. What I think I would say to you now is, yes, the doll is beautiful and she may speak to you in person. But also, I think we have witnessed a major milestone in doll collecting history, in Barbie history, and also just in our culture and our world. I mean, Misty is one of the first, I think, if not the actual first black prima ballerina to be in classical ballet and um, to have made it this far. So I'm excited to support her and I'm excited to have this doll to be able to say that I was part of the movement and I was part of the reason why the doll was sold out everywhere. Um, I think it's a pretty awesome thing. I do also want to check out this stand because I have not ever seen this shape of stand before. It looks like this. It cradles her underneath the crotch and clips in like all the other stands. I'm assuming the larger heart goes in the front and maybe the smaller one goes in the back. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so it like really, really grabs her. That's for sure. Like she can go flying and... So there you have it, guys. This is the Misty Copeland Barbie doll that just launched a few weeks ago. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as my channel grows. Thanks to all of you who have joined me along the way. I'm obviously very excited to have you all on board. And don't forget to add me on Instagram and Snapchat as well. Links are below. So until I see you guys again, Misty and I are gonna go get ready for her next performance. And um, I hope wherever you are, you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you lots. Big kisses to you. And I will see you all very soon. Okay? Bye, guys.